Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and the sun is almost gone, but I have in front of me, oh, my glasses are over there, wait, the 16 by 20 inch black canvas. And I just covered an 18 by 24 inch black canvas with a shovel and scoop pour and what I'm going to do, really, what I'm going to do is spread some schmutzy spatula. I thought I cleaned that, sorry. I'm pretty sure that's not going to be a problem because the background color is mostly going to be to help slide around the color I add in a moment. And like I said, I'm just interested in not wasting my paint. This, uh, this is an OXO omelet turning spatula. It is on my Amazon link below show more underneath the video, the first list. And it is the best paint spreading tool out there, in my opinion, bar none. You can use your frosting spreaders, you can use your tongue depressors, you can use a comb if you want, but this is the one that does it for me. So I'm going to try and get a nice, consistent, even layer with no gaps, and so far so good. I don't see much. My eyes aren't the best, but at least I have my glasses on. And this will calm down in a minute if I stop soon and level out more or less, because Floetrol is in the mix and Floetrol is a leveling agent, which is a nice thing. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. I am going to take my color in my pan and I'm going to throw a whole bunch of white in there and the white I'm going to throw in there is going to be the Anita's metallic and then I'm going to throw some orange in there because I can sort of thing and then I'm going to regret it immediately <laughs> because of all that yellow I see but I'm not going to worry about it yet. I see wonderful cells. So let's just flow some paint, shall we? Those blue cells popping through are amazing. I want to play. With what I have. Because again, the name of my first book, first book on the Amazon link, is Volume 1. It's called Because I Can. The second one just came out. I just added it to my Amazon link today, and it just got published, like, within hours ago. And it's called Unlimited Possibilities. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely looking a lot like undersea life, and I've got a bunch of straws here, and I think I want to see if I can spread that orange out. I'm going to also give myself permission to do whatever I want here, including make strange fishy looking creatures with chain, which is what that kind of reminds me of. I just eradicated those beautiful cells. I think I can probably, oh boy, do I really want to do that? I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to give myself permission. I want some turquoise and I want it now and it's going to be the color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. This is number 10 ball chain. I did actually add some of this onto my Amazon link. It's not inexpensive. Actually, you know what? I'm not certain about that. Don't quote me on that. I have a 48 foot um, spool of not number 10. That's pretty cool. I really want some white, and I think that if I scrape... that color out of that dustpan right now... that I won't get white, but I might get something. Alright, so I've got a couple few more um, shovelfuls of something or other here which is mostly green, which makes me think I want to put the paint that I was just excavating out of that dustpan into this dustpan. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that cool. I thought I was in trouble when I saw the, the orange. So my dustpan goes in the bucket. Keep your tools clean and you'll be happier. 
and then I'm going to use some magenta if I can find what I'm after because I love the magenta. I'm going to do all kinds of red. That was not shaken. Okay, never mind. It's time to make up some more deep pearly magenta. There's, that's it. That's the stuff right there. All right, so I'm going to take my shovel. Do I have one ready? I do. And because I'm bent right like that, I'm going to throw some other colors right there. I kind of want some white. But if I'm going to do that, it's going to have to come next. That is pretty cool. I might want to have to leave that right alone. What am I going to do with the rest of my colors? That's the question. So far, so good. I want some white. I said so. This time I'm going to add it. Where is it? Yep. Before anything else. I don't mind those weird shapes at the bottom. I'm going to use the chain to sort of herd some paint to go over there kind of hopeful that I'm not going to dislike what I just did. I'm going to grab some more of the magenta if I can. Where is it? Throw some more of the other stuff I like in there with it. Whoops. Neat. I'm gonna have some paint left over. Oh no! Again. So I'm gonna take the dull end of my bamboo skewer and just lead some paint right to the edge of that canvas. I'm gonna have to cover my edges tomorrow. no idea what kind of creatures lurk. This is a science fiction painting. <laughs> it's definitely fiction, that's for sure. But there's some pretty cool stuff going on, and I'm almost done, and I think I'm going to just give myself permission again. Wait. Clean chain. Small chain, maybe? No. Large chain. Yeah, it's weird, but it's okay. No, nope, not hitting that not yet anyway. Oh, I just smudged it. I'm gonna rub that down over the edge. Tap the other one off. Maybe I'll give it a little bit of uh, help. A little additional paint.
I like that orange, but I think I want it to go up in there a little further. I kind of wonder if maybe... Yep, I like that. I want some more balance. I might want a little more white, but I'm afraid if I put white in there, I'm going to want to put pink over the top of it, too. I actually like what I've got so that if I go any further, I'm going to think I've already gone so far past what I was aiming for. Not that I know what that was, actually. Yep, I'm right. I still want the pink on it. Maybe I'll just settle for the purple since I already have some of that there. Come on out. Yes, the purple made me happy. And I think, if I'm lucky, I'm going to put some white next to it. I might be able to keep it. We shall see tomorrow about that. Well, that's interesting. I haven't added any dots in here yet. I kind of took away a lot more than of the negative space than I intended. But I think I'm going to call it done for now at least, unless I want to do something about it tomorrow. I think I'm going to add... Some dots because I can right there and right here and right there I kind of want some gold and I'm almost done I and mean, I got three minutes left so wherever I want gold I better think about it right now I'm not sure that did anything for me, but it didn't hurt me either. I'm going to drag a little bit of it down so it covers the edge. See if adding a little more somewhere else will be helpful. And I kind of want to go right across the middle. Oh, no, don't do it. Maybe just a little right there. Joining up with that. Background color is still wet because it's been a really nice rainy afternoon here. I actually like that. Wow. Don't mind that either. I'm not sure you can see all of that. <laughs> I'm going to call it good in a second, I think, I hope, maybe. And that does not bother me either. But I kind of like it a lot. Just like I like that orange. And I'm going to just drag that gently with the pointed end. So it looks like everything else. 
Now it's time to torch and tell you guys if you like what I do. I appreciate your, your thumbs up and if you watch more of it, you tell the YouTube algorithm that you'd like to see me in more places for more people and that would be awesome for me because it's not always easy to, uh, to make enough to stay creating. But you guys have donated to keep me going and I really appreciate that and I want to say thank you to everybody who has. There is a monthly drawing. Ooh, that's bothering me. I think that's going to fix it. I hope so anyway. So there's a monthly drawing that you can find on the end screens that will allow you to get into um, to have one of a choice of one of the prizes if you win. And the this month's video is uh, 70 18 by 24 inch canvases exhibition. And you can see the five or six or seven paintings that I put in there. I can't remember right now how many. And uh, if you donate ten dollars or more to keep the studio going, continuing on, you will be automatically entered. I hope I didn't ruin that there. I kind of want to fix it before you're gone, and I don't know how long you're going to be here. Not long. I anyway, love you guys. There's almost eighty-five thousand of you. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, check my Facebook pages. I see something really big in there. It needs to come out. Yes. Now we have a spiral, which is fine. I love you guys, and um, I appreciate all your comments. You keep my morale up when it's hard here, and I really, really appreciate that. I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. My paint pouring recipe is underneath the video description under show more. So is my Amazon link. I might have mentioned that already. And you're going to be gone if you're not already. And I'm still focusing on the painting. So I'm going to torch and goodbye from now. Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida. How many times did I say that now? I don't know. So, if I hurry, I might get a picture. Wow, you're still here. That's amazing. So you saw all that. That's neat. Let's add some more. Makes me wish I'd read my read my crib sheet. <laughs> if you missed some information, you can find it on another video. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.